Good evening everyone, um, it's Nikki here. I'm going to do a Stitch With Me video. I've had a couple of requests recently for one of those. So I'm going to do it, but first, um, I've also been getting other requests to show people how I start my stitching with one strand of thread. How I start the thread off when I'm sewing. I, th I think it's not really very clear in the Stitch With Me videos because and I'm so used to it now I just whip through it so I'm going to try and take it slowly leave some longer lengths than I normally would but here we go so one strand of thread on the needle I'm stitching this on 25 count magic guide even width and I'm stitching one over one that is one strand of thread over one of the threads of the fabric on even weave and linen normally you'd stitch over two in this case it's over one for the tiny stitches for the bigger full coverage pieces so I start by bringing my needle up from the back and then I put it down in the corner now I always work bottom left to top right I like to take my needle down into an area that's already been stitched where I can not always possible but when I can that's when I do it I then bring my needle back up in the bottom right hand corner and I'm not going to bring the needle all the way through I'm going to turn the, fa the frame over and on the back see I've got this loop of thread and that's one of the loops that will end up making one of the vertical stitches on the back so I've got hold of the needle and I'm just slowly pulling this so hopefully you can see. So I've got a loop of thread here which is the bit that wants to go back in so I'm going to start pulling that down so we can hide the end there and that's just the end that goes through the needle. And then we've got the end of the thread here and we have the loop of the stitch and basically just very carefully bring that like that put the loop over that way and hold on to the end I'm going to just take it longer than I normally would and then you just pull the loop to close it make that vertical stitch and there we are stitch is all snug and, and tight I'm going to pull the thread from underneath so you can see that's not moving now this method is called the lasso method there are some very clear instructions on scarletquince.com they're a very good resource for lots of tips and techniques well worth checking out so that's how I start my thread and I learnt that um, basically when I started cross stitching that was the method that was taught in all the instructions that came with the kits at the time and that's the way I've always done it so I, I usually stitch this way for one or two threads. I'm, I'm not so used to doing the loop method that that comes automatically to me. This one, there we go. Now, if I started in the wrong place and want to take it out, just take it off the needle, pull the loop up from the stitch, and there we go, it's out. So just quickly do it one more time. Bottom left, top right, pull that down, up through the bottom, and then keep hold of your loop and just pull through, pull through, pull through, catch hold of the tail and keep the tail in your hand while you close the loop. Hopefully you could see that. So uh, I'm going to get on with doing some stitching and I'll record a Stitch With Me video. Thank you. 